What's up, guys? My sleep schedule is all kinds of out of whack. It's like 10.30 in the morning in D.C. Oh, hold on, turn my music on. It's like 10.30 in the morning in D.C. And it's 11.30 in Korea. And I kind of just took a nap. And just before I crashed, Stephanie was hitting me up. And I'm assuming we're going to try to work things out in light of the new information of all the criminal bullshit that they make these girls sign. And I'm assuming the other actors too and all that bullshit. Look, that I'm incredibly upset about the whole situation. Uh, what didn't help is that basically... I'm summarizing. Basically, they were like, no, no, Tiffany's all yours. We're just keeping her warm for you. And I was like, oh, that's the wrong answer, motherfucker. Uh, and I guess that's when what Tiffany would call the jealous rampage started going on. I, it seems like, based on some of the stuff, some kind of bug is like gnawing at me every time I go throw away trash uh, mosquito thingies anyways so um, in the Jessica leaks it's kind of stating how one of the reasons why Jessica got kicked out of girl generation was because she said that she wanted to get married so there's a whole bunch of shit going on right now additionally I will, assuming Tiffany actually does the things she says she does, which I don't expect. She will, let me say it this way. She can surprise me and do them. I, I, the fact that I ran into Su Young today basically means that Tiffany's like, working up the courage to do it and all that bullshit. But I don't know, we want to get into that. Um, so annoying. So annoying. So annoying. Anyways, let's try to finish that thing I made the other day. <sighs> oh, yeah. Do Thank you. 
I don't know. Do I do I think it's incredibly foolish to for the girls to trust whoever the fuck it is that's making those links and fake exchanges? Yes. Do I think that they would write it in the contract that they have to use those? I also think yes, based on some of the shit that um, Cookie Light was saying about Min, Min, Minhinji and the other douchebag from Hybe and Scooty, Scooter Braun is involved, so obviously. And if it's not Stephanie's dad, then I don't know. I probably won't apologize, but I'll let you punch me in the face a couple times because you just break your hand if you do that. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I will I will apologize when I feel I have something to apologize for and people putting all their hands up in my Kool-Aid is not something I feel apologizing for. Anyways. I'm getting tired again. Uh, I'm gonna go get, go get an energy drink so I can. I'm gonna get an energy drink so I can finish this. Hold on. Sentinels or some shit like that. Silicon Sentinel. Cyberpunk Superhero Series. If anyone's ever in DC, you should totally hit it Bayside. They are the best. Bayside, I'm going to give you guys, like, I owe Bayside at least $100 because I tried to get a vape from them. And I was just not understanding how those vape cartridges worked. And they basically gave me three vapes. Uh, so I'm going to insist that since they're having like a buy three, get one free, I'm going to insist that I pay for the other one. No, because I, I think they gave me four vapes. So I owe them at least $200. I'll, I'll, I'll come correct with you guys when I come back. And they're not even asking for it. They're like, well, we're just glad you're happy. You're a good customer of ours. But I want to do the right thing. P. Diddy's getting a cute... Look, the... Uh, the... P. Diddy, as guilty as he is, he's the bag holder for all the other motherfuckers. Like, I can't even go into that shit right now. I just don't want to. I will end up getting upset. I just... You do not understand how more upset I got. Because I was already upset. And she was like, no, I can explain everything. And I was like, explain. And basically... Those dumb motherfuckers were like, we're just actors, and we're all a big family, and we're just keeping her warm for you. Wrong fucking answer. 
That's all I can say. Wrong motherfucking answer. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Anyways. Oh, that's those little gnat things are probably what's biting me. I'm not too talkative right now because I'm still a little tired and I'm getting eaten by bugs. Korea is a cool place. I like Korea. I like Korean culture. Ever since I was a kid, I thought it was cool. Ever since Taekwondo. Just whoever the fuck is behind all this bullshit is a beta male. The people who think I'm calling them beta males are probably not the ones I'm calling beta males. I just get really... I, I just go on jealous rampages. Will I stop yelling at the smut show? Probably not. Will I try to reel it in a little bit if Tiffany explains shit better? We'll see. Anyways, did I put that in there? Cannot begin to describe how much Joe Biden is an asshole. Only two scenes. You fucking kidding me? Whatever, let's see, let's just go with it. If I was to go fully Colleen tomorrow and magically run into Miss Huang Ji or Mi Young Wang, that that would speed things along. I don't know what else to say. Oh, come on, now it's Jesus. Uh, this one might not be as good as the other ones, but whatever. It's kind of rushed.
I think it would be cool to get some boxing going on between Korea and Seoul, reinvigorate the boxing scene. I mean, Korea and DC. We'll see one, one, one step at a time. Let's finish this. And Stephanie, if you want this to continue, you're gonna have to do the things you say that you you're gonna do. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. But basically, based on the shit that Jessica was leaking in her book and or the things they're trying to re-leak and say, they like force the girls to like do promotions and movies and albums before they al allow them to break contract. It's so dumb. You should have just told me you need XYZ amount of dollars. So fucking lame. That's kind of cool. Another one of those bugs. finished it the moral of the story is if you piss me off or you hurt anyone I care about you know what's gonna happen I do I do not stop until I get the job done because I got nothing else better to do at my time I don't know what it is. There are some people, like the Tates, for example. When they were younger, they were like, I'm so mad I don't have a Lambo. I would have steal everyone's money and get a Lambo. There's people like these influencers who are like, everyone's got to know who I am. Everyone's got to hear my opinion on things. I was always like, what happened to all the great American poets what happened to all the great american philosophers it's like after the civil war or after like the 1880s they just disappeared what happened to all the you know lysander spooners and the walden ponds 
And I was like, no one else is doing it. I'll be Walden Pond. Fuck taxes. And all that bullshit. So, that's just how I live my life. Anyways, I'm going to upload this and finish that. And then, I might even finish it in the morning. I think I'm kind of tired. Alright, peace out.